Alright guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be discussing one of the biggest topics and arguments in the Classic WoW community right now. Will Naxxramas actually be difficult when it comes out? By the way guys, this weekend the Atlantis TBC Karazhan server is doing a little bit of an experience event. So I'm basically just going to stream the whole thing all weekend over on my Twitch channel, which you can find in the description of this video. And I am actually looking for people to level with. Anyway, so first of all, why do people think that Naxxramas is hard? Well, it's because only 23 guilds on the US servers actually managed to clear Nax, which is less than 0.1% of the total player base. Okay, so first of all, that's simply not true. The number is actually closer to 55. There is a Reddit post with a more realistic list of people who cleared Nax, to which there is a, you know, decent enough evidence for each clear. Worldwide, 102 guilds cleared Nax before the Burning Crusade pre-patch, and a further 34 guilds after that cleared it after the pre-patch, for a total of 136 guilds. So if we say each guild had 40 members, that's at least 5,444 people, and there are obviously more guilds out there who didn't record evidence of their kills, or simply just didn't clear the entire raid, but killed a few bosses here and there. So yeah, it's still quite a small percentage of the total player base, but even despite all of that, there is one very significant reason as to why so many, well, so little people bothered to go and clear Nax. And it's very simply because the TBC release date was announced close to the release date of Naxxramas. And Naxxramas itself was a huge demand on your back pocket. It's a very expensive raid, but you can easily, you know, you can spend about 500 gold per week just clearing a raid. So one of the main reasons why people didn't bother with Naxxramas is because it was so expensive and many people prefer to just simply save their money for the Burning Crusade. Especially when you consider the gear upgrades in Naxxramas weren't exactly a huge step up. In some cases they, they obviously were pretty big weapon, you know, big weapon upgrades for instance, but if you look at the Warlock tier 0.5 set compared to tier 3, the headpiece only has an extra 1% spell crit and you actually had to spend gold to get certain mats in order to get each individual gear piece of tier 3 set, so it cost you even more money, because they wouldn't just simply drop like they do in Blackwing Lair, you can go ahead and equip it. And on top of all this, the Hellfire Peninsula quest rewards and the dungeon rewards, especially group quests, were pretty decent. I mean, they're obviously not as good as tier 3 gear, but still pretty good and pretty close to being as good as tier 3 gear, but regardless, people are going to be clearing raids in TBC, which means they're just going to replace this gear. So, essentially these are your two options, spend about 7 months spending 500 gold per week to clear a raid that only gives you slightly better gear pieces you're going to replace very quickly with a new expansion releases, or save your money, do some gold farming to prepare for the next expansion to afford crafting mats, epic flying, raid consumables for the new raids, chill doing some PvP and, you know, levelling some alts. And that's one of the big reasons why a lot of people just simply didn't bother with Nax. Another very big point to make is that back in vanilla, there wasn't a huge raiding culture out there. These days in retail, the majority of players who play the game are max level and do raiding and competitive PvP. The raiding culture kind of began to evolve mostly when leveling obviously became faster in Wrath of the Lich King. It's where you get the term Wrath Baby. From Wrath onwards, most players were max level, but back in vanilla, the game didn't begin at max level. The game began when you first logged in and started playing your character for the first time, whereas in retail, the game only really begins when you're max level. In vanilla, a large amount of the player base just chilled and went on adventures with their friends, doing quests and dungeons. It's why you have long class quest lines, you know, to get your pets or to get certain abilities, things that would take you on long adventures which seem like a huge irritating detour to go on when it comes to levelling speed, but back then it didn't really matter. It's why you have very long quest lines with very good weapon rewards, but mo the majority of people who play Classic these days will tell you, oh there's no point going through that quest line because you're just going to out level the gear very quickly. But back in vanilla, you weren't going to out-level the gear very quickly. Questline that springs to mind, because it's one of my favourite questlines to do in Classic WoW, is the questline to kill Morladim in Duskwood. The quest takes ages, but in the end, you get a big, fat, beefy, two-handed weapon, glowing with, you know, a 
golden spell effect called Arceus and you just really cannot complain at that. I actually once saw a really old Asmongold video of his mum playing World of Warcraft and she had 50 days playtime before she got to level 60. That's an extreme example but the point I'm making is that a lot of players just did leveling. And the reason I'm making these points is because I'm trying to dispel the myth that has been exaggerated by other creators, the community, and the word of mouth, honestly, from people trying to seem cool and interesting because they played a video game 16 years ago, you know, making out like Nak Framus or making out like Vanilla was Vietnam or something. The truth is, there simply wasn't hundreds of thousands of guilds trying to progress through Nak Framus and totally failing, like, you know, like it is on retail these days. There's loads and loads of guilds on retail trying to progress through the latest raid, right? Because there weren't that many guilds entering Naxxramas in the first place, and that's why not many guilds cleared Naxxramas, right? It was too expensive, and most people just couldn't be bothered because they wanted to prepare for the Burning Crusade. I've played very thoroughly on free vanilla private servers over the past five years or so, and I didn't see loads and loads of guilds struggling to get through Nax. Instead, I saw Dreadnought gear all over Orgrimmar, okay? And a lot of those servers actually tuned the content to be more difficult. On the other hand, I'm definitely not saying that Naxxramas is going to be some cakewalk, because it's not. Naxxramas has roughly the equal difficulty of a typical 25-man raid from TBC and Raffle Lich King, and the bosses I mentioned in my previous video, the top 5 hardest bosses in Naxxramas, which you should check out after this, uh, you know, those bosses will definitely be a decent challenge, especially Kelfazad. That one's going to be pretty difficult until people can nail it down, you know, nail down the tactics. But overall, Nax, it's going to be more of a typical raiding experience when it comes to difficulty. It'll probably be cleared within the first hour of release, let's be honest, well, maybe the first two hours by the most skilled guilds. And I think the majority of guilds will spend a good two to four weeks on progressing in the raid before they finally do kill Kelfazad. That may extend to a couple of months for the more casual guilds. Another thing to bear in mind is that we have a massive advantage over the original vanilla players. We have more powerful PCs to make the gameplay smoother, which means less messing up, less standing in fire, better voice communication software, and we also just know all the tactics by hand, you know, thanks to YouTube videos, which can very, very clearly explain everything for us. We know the best in slot specs, because everything's been simulated and calculated, the best in slot gear, the best in slot consumables, and obviously we also have world buffs to make it much, much easier. In fact, the world record speed run clear for Naxxramas is just over an hour, which is really good considering it's a really big raid that requires a lot of walking and there's, you know, so many bosses to kill. So final thoughts. Yeah, it's going to be more difficult than all the previous raids, but it won't be that difficult. And that's pretty much all there is to say. Like, I could have just said that and ended the video, but then it wouldn't have been much of a video. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. My name is Medigoblin. Until my next video, ciao.